Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from King William Alexander of the Netherlands in reply to His Majesty's cable of congratulations to King William on the occasion of his country celebrating the King's Day. The Dutch monarch expressed deepest thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, wishing him abundant health and happiness and to the people of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from Kazakh President Kassim Jumarat Tokayev in reply to His Majesty's cable of congratulations on winning the presidential elections in Kazakhstan. President Kassim Jumarat Tokayev expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad for his noble feelings, wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and further progress and prosperity to the Kingdom. He said that he is looking forward to bolstering bilateral cooperation in all fields for the best interests of the two countries and their friendly people. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from former French Minister of Culture and President of the Paris-based Arab World Institute, Jacques Lang, on the registration of the Delman Burial Mounds on UNESCO's World Human Heritage List. Lang said the unique archaeological site asserts Bahrain's rich history, which deserves to be promoted by providing support to Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. He added that Bahrain's rich civilization was showcased in a wonderful exhibition held recently at the Institute for the Millennium Cities. He noted that the visitors showed a great appreciation of Bahrain's valuable heritage, wishing the kingdom perpetual growth under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King thanked the Arab World Institute President and the staff working with him for their tremendous efforts to preserve human heritage. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed greetings and congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, over Salwaid's victory for the second year in a row after winning first place in the final round of the fur race that was held in the city of Zurich, Switzerland. His Highness Sheikh Khaled said that the victory embodies the utmost support accorded to the sports movement in the Kingdom of Bahrain in general and athletics in particular by the Kingdom's leadership, who has been keen to put in place an ideal environment for the national teams to enable them to achieve accomplishments that reflect the huge development made by the sports movement in Bahrain. He added that this accomplishment is the result of the backing of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness's keenness to extend all the required support to the national teams to ensure they are ready to compete against anybody in the any arena, stating that the launch of the Golden Era following the Year of Gold in 2018 represents a motivational factor for the Bahrainis to secure further positive results. His Highness Sheikh Khaled expressed his pride in Eid's win which adds to the series of accomplishments achieved in the golden era, noting that this victory confirms the successful strategy being implemented by the Bahrain Athletics Association. Salwaid was crowned back-to-back -back champion of the women's 400 meters in the prestigious IAAF Diamond League. Salwa defended her crown after winning her race in the Weltklasse Zurich Athletics meeting in Switzerland. It was her fifth triumph of the year in the Diamond League series and it came in the penultimate round of the highly regarded International Association of Athletics Federations competition. Salwa had also previously won her 400 meter races in the Diamond League meets in Shanghai, Rome, Rabat and Lausanne. This was Bahrain's third overall win in the Diamond League with Ruth Jebel opening the Kingdom's account in this competition after winning the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase in 2016, followed by Aid's back-to-back -back victories in the women's 400 meters.